Okay, so the latest web is now live and it includes some interesting information regarding the game and features coming over the next month that I must cover. Things like a community challenge, changes to the menagerie and a few other bits and bobs. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So the twab you will find linked within the video description if you do want to read through the entire post. It basically starts off covering news I've brought you guys already. Things like the director's cut by Luke Smith, the articles or three, trust save, uh, finishes what we learned about uh, Gamescom, a Gamescom trailer of Shadowkeep, uh, the season of the Undying trailer. I've brought you guys all kinds of videos on these covering every spec of these actual videos we got the stream they did at Gamescom with Inside Xbox, uh, both trailers and a few other bits and bobs but like I said if you do want to go through all you'll find it linked within the video description. Then goes to talk about the Great Migration which is basically cross save and people moving platforms, switching platforms, a lot of people moving to PC which I can understand. And it goes and it talks about this also which is probably worth noting so I will. As we prepare to transition Destiny 2 to Steam, your last chance to purchase Destiny 2 any expansions or silver on Battle.net is September 3rd, 2019. Additionally, players may pre-order Destiny 2 Shadowkeep on Steam, but will not be able to play until October 1st, obviously. Additionally, players may begin to purchase silver on Steam starting October 1st. With Season of the Opulence coming to a close, we wanted to make sure you had ample time to get into the action with your friends on PC and got proper warning before your favourite Eververse items went on a hiatus. Make sure to grab silver before September 3rd so you don't miss your final chances to snag some community favourites. And we see a few emails, well, an email, a ghost shell, and a sparrow, which looks pretty epic. Okay, so. The interesting stuff. Iron and Valor. Next week begins your final month of Season of Opulence. Lord Saladin returns with the power enabled combat of the Iron Banner. And we see we have uh, Iron Banner which starts on uh, the 27th which is next Tuesday I do believe. Is it next Tuesday or the Tuesday after? I'm not sure. Well, I'm 20, let me just double check that there. Uh, 27th yes is next Tuesday. Pretty cool. Can't not wait for that. And I just minimised the screen. What have I done? Oh dear. What have I clicked on? Let's go back. Okay we're back. So yes, it starts next Tuesday, I'm looking forward to that. My last chance is actually getting a swarm, pretty epic. Um, basically that's it, we get another Iron Banner on the 17th of September. Then we get Mayhem the week after. So yeah, Iron Banner starts August 27th and ends September 3rd. Looking forward to that. Increased Valor also returns. So if you are hunting for those final resets required for the Red Rixes Brutal Quest, this is the perfect time to jump in. Moments of Triumph has also been extended through September 17th. So this may help you earn the Crucible Pinnacle weapon that's been holding you back from the MMX1X title. September Community Challenge on Mars. Whether we wanted it or not, we've stepped into a war with the Hive on Mars. So let's get to taking out there. Wait a second, this isn't what I meant to start with. With a bit of extra time before Shadowkeep ships, we thought it would be a good idea to get the community in fighting shape to return to the moon, not just you, but the entire community. What better way to focus your attention on the Hive than to challenge you in the ways of old. As we have a quality of life update coming on September 3rd that touches some Mars content, why not double down and maybe help a few aspiring wayfarers along the way? Start September 3rd, 10 a.m. PDT and end September 10th, 10 a.m. PDT. Community Objectives Defeat 175,000 wave 7 escalation protocol bosses. Wow! Defeat 300 million hive on Mars. Mars Nightfalls defeat Nocris 150,000 times. Defeat Zol 100,000 times. Use 300,000 override frequencies. Wow! Rewards. Now, this wouldn't be interesting without rewards. If all objectives are completed during the event, any player to complete at least one Nightfall will be granted a unique emblem, granted to only those who rose to the Mars Challenge. And we can see the emblem right there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Looks pretty cool. Really does. Actually, I really like it. 
Okay, so it also states, this also serves as an opportunity for you to further impress Emperor Callus. If the community reaches all the above goals, Callus will unlock additional rewards for successful menagerie completions. Starting when goals are met, players will be guaranteed two rewards when slotting their runes and opening the chests. An additional reward will be added each Friday for the remainder of the season. Now, if this starts on September 3rd and we actually complete this within the first week or whatever it is because the 10th is the week after yes and that would mean on the friday the 13th we can get an additional reward besides the two we're already going to be getting or promised by doing actual community challenge the 20th we'll get another additional reward so that could be four in total there and then five on the 27th if my calculations are correct or it could be four on the 27th three on the 20th and two on the 13th just depends on the way they actually do this and drop this but that's actually a pretty great incentive in getting onto Mars on September 3rd and killing the heck out of as many hive as you can. I know I'll be farming this. I'll definitely put in my percentage of escalation protocols, nightfalls, and whatever else is needed. Good luck, Guardians will be watching, so that's pretty epic people and that's basically it where we were in this video i want to cover now there's a few other bits and bobs you may want to check out if you have uh basically linked your account to steam they do cover a few of the uh issues people have been having with their report and so forth but i think all is good now but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video tell me what you think about this epic new community challenge i love this kind of thing i really do and if we actually complete it, it will give them more incentive to drop more like this in the future. So yes, people, make sure you get your ass to Mars on September 3rd and do what's needed. But yeah, guys, tell me what you think about this down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. If you did, drop a like. It really does help me and my channel out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. They were bumping ether. I'm looking through the window, man. If you was fucking seen it. Well, my song's on, so let that bitch play. Put that girl's drunk, well, let that bitch stay. Oh, she's on her knees, I let that bitch pray. And I just wanna smoke weed and write music every day. Look, I still ride the bus, dude. I'm still broke. But I'm still number one, bitch. I'm still oh. They told me get your swag up and be a star. I'm trying to have